Hello everyone and welcome to another 3ds Max tutorial. This tutorial will be about Displace Modifier. For this tutorial I prepared a simple plane object. Uh, I applied some segments here for start resolution. Also I prepared Turbo Smooth Modifier to achieve a better resolution with iterations of 4. So for now this is disabled, so let's apply displace modifier, okay, you can see this plane is flat. So here in parameters field we have a displacement, image, map, channel and alignment. So to start to creating displacement we must select and put the source so let's start from image here we have bitmap and map so we can apply two maps and mix it and create some special look so let's apply first bitmap Okay, so as you can see, we have bitmap, but nothing happens. So let's move here in displacement field and let's change the string. So we can use positive and negative numbers. You can see we have some action here. Also, I prepared material to see better this map that I'm using in this tutorial. And decrease. And now we can use map. And we can apply some noise or another map. So as you can see, it's mixed. Also, we can use blur to change strength of bitmap. Let's use another noise. Okay. Now as you can see everything everything works fine but uh, we have lucky. Why? So let's move here to map section. You can see here at the start we have four different shapes of gizmo. So by default it's set on planner. But if you use for example rounded object, sphere or cylinder, you will have, you will have a different shape and beginning and you will must select your gizmo properly. So here are the gizmos so you can change as you can see his shape. But as you can see here we have a problem because this not fit our object also with different shapes you have different uh, heights widths and length and also for this tree you have all three allowed but with the plan planner only you have this one also we can use and multiply our uh, maps so here with UV and W tile you can increase your map number. For now uh, it's hard to recognize but we have four maps here. So let's apply our turbo smooth 
to increase the resolution see better and for this one let's apply this as you can see one map map now multiplied So the last uh, last field is alignment. Here we can control our gizmo. We can use the different axes to affect. So as you can see, when I change axis, also I change the shape. Now we can use fit function to fit our object. We can center it. Also, you can use a bitmap for fit function. So select some bitmap and this will fit that bitmap. Also, we can use normal align. So that means I choose this particular point of this object uh, alignment will try to align on that normal also we can use a region fit so if I select you can see holding left click and moving mouse now only this region is displaced Everything other is flat, flat. And we can reset this to default. And this acquire when you have different object, another object, it apply displays on it. You can select this and select that object to fit his gizmo. To this object so that's it thanks for watching